Florida State has not honored my commitment. Therefore, my recruitment is back open. It is disappointing, however. I'm excited about the opportunity to find a great place to further my education. Committing to a college is an amazing achievement for any high school athlete. It is not only a decision for them, but for their family and for their future. Power 5 programs have a tendency to roll out the red carpet for top recruits and give them the illusion that they are a family. That illusion was real for the three-star recruit, Jerry and Wallace, for a brief second until Florida State pulled his scholarship after he had already committed. Stick around to find out exactly what happened. Was he good enough to go to Florida State? And what's next for him? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Reggie from HBCU Spotlight, and I'm back with another banger. As you can see, 87% of the channel's viewers are not subscribed. So hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you will be alerted anytime that I upload a video. Without further ado, let's get into it. This is the story of Jerrion Wallace. Wallace is a six foot four, 190 pound wide receiver from Denton, Texas, where he attends Branswell High School. He is a three star recruit in the class of 2023. Even though he's a three star, he is heavily underrated, and 14 colleges agree with that statement. He currently has offers from schools like Nebraska, UCF, Georgia State, West Virginia, and Florida State, just to name a few. Jackson State, Texas Southern, Grambling, Tennessee State, what are y'all waiting for? HBCUs in general, what are we doing? As I stated before, to me, he is extremely underrated and under-recruited. The fact that an HBCU still has an offer him a scholarship is criminal to me. His stats speak for themselves. After week six, these are his stats in terms of receiving yards. 54th in the nation, second in the state of Texas, and first in the state of Texas in the class of 2023. Let that stink in. He is a touchdown machine as well. He utilizes his 6'4 length to not only box out on the court, but also to out jump defenders. He had 10 touchdowns receiving in his junior season last year. And this year, in just six games, he has six receiving touchdowns. Now, to the root of the story. Why did Florida State pull his scholarship after he had already committed? He originally received an offer from the Seminoles on May 6th. He verbally committed not too long after, on June 2nd. Wallace is originally from Georgia, and he used to attend Colquitt County High School, but it seems as if Florida State may have been a dream school for him. Hence why he committed so quickly. But as we all know, good things don't last forever. I know people are already thinking, oh, he was a thug or a bad person or made bad grades and he wasn't worthy of a scholarship. Forget all that BS. That could not be further from the truth. Just between me and his haters, he has a 3.5 GPA. Think of something else. His head football coach, had this to say about his players' abrupt fallout with Florida State. Quote, Florida State made an offer to our receiver. He then took an unofficial visit and loved it. He committed the next day. I then received a call that the offer was not committable. They never communicated that to me or to Jerry. Prior to that, that the offer was not committable. Stop offering kids if they can't commit. He continued with his rant by stating, Jerry committed and Florida State isn't honoring the commitment. They subsequently sent him not one, but two official letters and still have chosen not to honor the commitment. They have done a poor job of communicating. I've asked the staff to call Jerry and his mom to communicate to them what I shouldn't have to. And also that hasn't happened. 
Very unprofessional way of doing things. He is currently leading the Metroplex in receiving. Someone will get a great kid and a great player. End quote. If this young man was such a bad person, would a coach go out of his way to get this message out to the world? If you still think I'm lying and you're not convinced yet, check this out. A coach from another high school chimed in under the post with this tweet. Quote, this is typical of the Florida State staff and is not the first time I've heard of this. A very particular five star right now in Tallahassee couldn't even get a phone call until his senior year when it was too late, end quote. Jerrion, keep your head up, man. I know your thoughts are all over the place right now. This is your senior year and you wanted to commit to a school, but trust me, this is probably a blessing in disguise. Your talents are off the charts and having a coach who would stick his neck out for you to defend you speaks highly on you and your character as a person and a player. On the bright side, you're still young. I know you have to go back to the recruiting process and I'm sure you want this all to be over and behind you. All I ask you to do is to at least take a visit to one HBCU. It doesn't matter which one, but do that. Whether you actually want to go there or not, just go on one visit and see what they have to say. I can assure you that that crude and cold way in which you were treated would not happen there. Thanks for watching the video. If you made it to the end, type in FS who in the comment section. I want to hear from y'all. What do y'all think about this entire situation? Am I overreacting? And where do y'all think Jaren will ultimately commit? As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. We on the road to 10K from us. Over here at HBCU Spotlight, rooting for your Wallace and looking forward to seeing you shine on the field. We out of here. Peace.